tonight. And also, thanks for a, a gift that arrived in my office today, dental floss. For those viewers not familiar with the debate, the ongoing debate, uh, our uh, colleagues at Local News Live at 5 did a segment this week saying that the use of dental floss prevents Alzheimer's. When pressed to repeatedly, they've been unable to provide the medical underpinnings or any kind of research. I got a hastily handwritten note along with this today. Uh, I'll use it uh, prophylactically, as they say, uh, because of this, again, uh, sketchy uh, medical evidence at best. But I thank my colleagues upstairs for this uh, wonderful and, holiday. And Brian, time. you're so welcome. But we have taken the time to prepare a little, a little show for you, a little slideshow. And I'd like to okay. explain that the research from the University of Southern California, 20,000 twins, identical twins, were tested. Mm -hmm. Of that, 109 had one person, one of those twins developed dementia. Mm -hmm. Then they took a look and they said, well, why? Why is it possible that just one twin developed dementia when they've got identical genetic information, uh, gene mm -hmm. genetic information and they're supposed to be identical twins are the same genetic blueprint? So they looked at external factors, one of those being inflammatory burden, also known as periodontal disease, also known as icky swollen gums. They concluded that periodontal disease is a signpost for exposure to inflammation, which can go on to damage brain tissue. QED, Latin for because we say it so. <laughs> okay, um, there's so much material here, and QED, very nice. Uh, and, and by the way, is icky, since when is icky a medical term? <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> All right. Well, you uh, it really, you undermine your own case when you when you throw in words like icky and well, QED. Well, I thought it would explain the connection in a... In All a right. This, this way. may continue, but in the meantime, we we urge, of course, all our viewers to follow a regimen of oral health because uh, it may reduce their chance of developing Alzheimer's. And it's just good for your teeth. And as you saw on the graphic, someone lost their teeth among those <laughs> twins. I'm, I imagine uh, they, they were just sitting there on the counter. So that's a bad thing. You want to avoid that. Brian, Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Okay. One moment, everybody, while we revive Sue. <laughs> Come on, Sue. We've got to do Wednesday's child. <laughs> 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 Does anybody remember what happened? <laughs> Sue. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to we gain our dignity. I'm on a chair that has a roller that doesn't work. I just thought I'd add that. But three. What are these chairs coming in? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, mm. let's move. Now, you know.